Hey everyone and welcome to Tech Talk Central. I'm Nathan and today we're joined by Sarah for a deep dive into a battle of the titans in the laptop world. It's a matchup that's got everyone talking, the Dell XPS 16 versus the Apple MacBook Pro. If you're a creator looking for a laptop that can handle pretty much anything you can throw at it, yeah. well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. Absolutely. We're talking top of the line performance, stunning visuals, and those little extra features that can really supercharge your workflow. So much to talk about. Let's jump right in and start with the Dell XPS 16. I took a look at the specs on this thing, and um, wow, this machine is no slouch. We're talking Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. Powerful stuff. Yeah. And you know, that means it was made for demanding creative applications. Right. And to handle those applications, Dell went ahead and paired that processor with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 graphics card. So whether you're editing video, maybe doing some 3D rendering, or even just, you know, squeezing in a little gaming time, this graphics card can handle it. And all of that comes together on this gorgeous 16.3 inch FHD plus display. Now, some people might be wondering, what exactly is FHD plus? Well, it basically means full HD resolution, but with a little extra vertical space, you know, just giving a more immersive experience. Yeah, and more room to work. Definitely more room to work. It's a beautiful screen, and Dell didn't hold back on memory and storage either. You get a crazy 32 gigabyte of RAM. Wow. So multitasking is going to be a breeze and a one terabyte SSD, which means lightning fast boot times and a ton of space for all those projects. And of course, it wouldn't be a Dell without the familiar Windows operating system. This XPS 16 is running Windows 11 Pro. Which is great for compatibility with a ton of software and yeah. peripherals. And, you know, speaking of real world experiences, I saw this great user review on Amazon. They said, beautiful screen, welcome relief to be able to fit all this power in such a small package. I love that. It really speaks to the portability and power that Dell has packed into this machine. It really does. Okay, so we've got a powerful, portable, and visually stunning machine in the Dell XPS 16. But what about the competition? Sarah, can you walk us through some of the highlights of the Apple MacBook Pro? Well, the MacBook Pro has always been a favorite for creators, and the latest version definitely doesn't disappoint. At its heart is the powerful M4 Max chip okay, with a 14-core CPU and a 32-core GPU. Now, that's some serious processing power, and it's designed to handle the most demanding tasks you can throw at it. We hear a lot about Apple's focus on what they call Apple intelligence yeah. with this chip. What does that actually mean for a creator you know, in practical terms? Yeah, that's a great question. Apple intelligence is basically Apple's way of saying this chip is designed to make the laptop more, I guess, intuitive and helpful. So think things like predictive text that get smarter, voice commands becoming more responsive, features that really try to anticipate your needs. But where it really shines is in complex workflows like, you know, 3D rendering. Creators working on those kinds of projects will see a huge difference in speed and performance. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And to support all of that processing power, the MacBook Pro has 36 gigabytes of unified memory. Yes. Now, can you explain why that's such a big deal? Yeah. So unified memory is a game changer, especially for multitasking. Basically, it lets the CPU and GPU access the same memory pool, which makes everything run smoother and more efficiently. So no more lag when you're switching between those really demanding applications. Okay, so we've got power, we've got efficiency, but let's be honest, one of the things MacBook Pros are famous for is those incredible displays. This one boasts a 14.2-inch Liquid Retina XDR screen with a whopping 1,600 nits of peak brightness. Yeah. That sounds like a dream come true for any visual professional. It really is. And that Liquid Retina XDR technology means incredible color accuracy, you know, stunning detail, and those really deep blacks that just make everything pop. So if you're a photographer, a videographer, a graphic designer, this display is a game changer. And to round out the experience, Apple included a really top-notch camera and audio system. We're talking a 12 MP center stage camera for really clear video calls. Mm. And then you've got that six speaker sound system with spatial audio. Wow. It's basically like a portable studio for content creation. Exactly. And just like we saw with the Dell, users are raving about real world performance. One comment we came across was just very fast laptop, very long battery life. Classic MacBook Pro power and efficiency all in a really sleek package. Uh -huh. OK, so we've laid out the strengths of each machine individually, but now let's get down to business. How do these laptops actually stack up against each other? Ah, uh, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Yeah, so let's um, let's start with those processors, you yeah. know, the brains of these machines. It's Intel Core Ultra 7 versus Apple M4 Max. What do you think about this matchup, Nathan? 
Well, it was really interesting because you can't really just say that one is straight up better than the other. They both have their own strengths and they excel in different areas. We talked about how that M4 Max is optimized for Apple's ecosystem and it really shines in tasks like, you know, video editing and 3D rendering thanks to that Apple intelligence. Exactly. And that optimization makes a big difference. For example, if you're editing a 4K video project in Final Cut Pro, that M4 Max can handle it smoothly and efficiently. And you'll likely see faster render times and a much smoother overall experience compared to the Intel chip. But then on the other side, the Intel Core Ultra 7 and the XPS 16 offers more compatibility with software that isn't, you know, just Apple. So if you're someone who uses a lot of different creative applications, some of which might only be available on Windows, then that kind of versatility could be a huge plus. That's a good point. You really have to consider your whole workflow. If you're already using a lot of Apple products and are embedded in that Apple ecosystem, the M4 Max is probably the way to go. But if you need that flexibility with your software, the Intel chip might be a better fit. Okay, so processing power really depends a lot on what you need as a creator, what your specific workflow looks like. What about displays? Both of them sound really amazing. But we are comparing Liquid Retina XDR on the MacBook Pro to FHD Plus on the XPS 16. Yeah, and this is another one where it's really hard to just choose a winner. The Liquid Retina XDR on the MacBook Pro is just spectacular. I mean, wow. 1600 nits of peak brightness it creates this hdr experience that's really breathtaking and the color accuracy especially if you do color critical work it's unmatched yeah i can see how that would be really appealing especially for photographers or videographers who need to be sure that the colors they see on the screen are accurate you know true mm. to life Absolutely. But we shouldn't forget about the Dell XPS 16's FHD Plus display. It's a great screen, you know, and it's larger, too. It's that 16.3 inch size, and that gives you more space to work with, which can be really helpful, you know, for multitasking or working with complex layouts. So it's that classic trade off again. You get an amazing color accuracy and HDR on the MacBook Pro, but more screen space on the Dell XPS 16. It's a tough decision. And of course, we can't forget the age-old battle, Mac OS versus Windows 11. Yeah. What are some of the key considerations there for creators? This is where personal preference comes in a lot. Mac OS has always been really popular with creatives. It's got that intuitive interface, it's stable, and it integrates really well with other Apple devices. And of course, you have access to all those powerful creative apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro X, which are exclusive to Mac OS. Right. And on the Windows side, you get that wider software compatibility and a more customizable experience. Yeah. You know, if you like to change settings and personalize your workflow, Windows gives you a little more freedom to do that. Yeah, for sure. And don't forget, Windows has a really strong ecosystem of creative software, too, like the yep. Adobe Creative Suite, which runs great on both Mac OS and Windows. So it sounds like the operating system decision really depends on if you're looking for that Apple-centric experience or you need that flexibility and wider software compatibility that you get with Windows. Exactly. It's about finding the OS that best supports your creative workflow. All right. So we've talked a lot about performance. We've talked about features. But there's one more thing we can't forget about. It always plays a big role in these decisions. Price. So, Sarah, what's the damage for each of these machines? Well, as you might expect, these are top-tier laptops, so they do come with a pretty high price tag. The Dell XPS 16, with all the amazing specs we talked about, is going to cost you about $2,259. Okay, so not cheap, but it's in line with what you would expect to pay for a machine this powerful. What about the MacBook Pro? The MacBook Pro with the M4 Max chip and all the extras comes in a little higher at $2,849. So there is a bit of a price difference there. What advice would you give to our viewers who are trying to decide, you know, weigh those costs against the features? It's important to remember that value isn't just about the price tag. You know it's about getting the tool that's right for you, the tool that's going to last. Think about what you want to be doing in a few years. Sometimes it makes sense to spend a little more upfront and get a machine that will stay relevant and powerful longer and save you money down the road. Yeah, that's a great point. It really is about you know, making an investment in a machine that will last you a while, help you along your creative journey for years to come. So Sarah, as we wrap up this epic laptop battle, what are your final thoughts for any creators out there trying to decide between these two, the Dell XPS 16 and the Apple MacBook Pro? Honestly, Nathan, I think both of these laptops are amazing. They're incredibly powerful. They've got those beautiful displays and they have features that were designed, you know, with creators in mind. There's no easy answer. It really comes down to what you need as a creator. So if you're looking for that really smooth integration with everything Apple, 
you need a machine that can handle the most demanding creative tasks, well, the MacBook Pro might be the way to go. Right. And if you need more flexibility, if you want a wider range of software options and maybe a little bit more room in your budget, then the Dell XPS 16 is a fantastic choice. It seems like they both have their own strengths and it really comes down to what's the best fit for your creative needs and what fits in your budget. Exactly, and do your research, you know, look at some user reviews, watch some videos of people using them and get a feel for the design and how they feel to use before you make that final decision. Always good advice. Good to see what they're like in the real world. Well, I think we covered a lot today. We explored the power, the performance, all the features that make the Dell XPS 16 and the Apple MacBook Pro two of the most popular laptops for creators. It's been a fun, deep dive, Nathan. Hopefully we gave everyone some good information to help them decide which laptop is right for them. We hope so. And to help you guys out even more, we've got links down in the description to the latest prices and deals for both laptops. So be sure to check those out. Yes, definitely. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of creator laptops, be sure to subscribe to Tech Talk Central for more in-depth comparisons and all kinds of tech insights. That's right. We're here to help you navigate the world of tech, which, as we all know, is always changing. So until next time, keep creating, everyone.